sunscreen, and there are a lot of different opinions, but uh, essentially uh, you want something that blocks ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B, which is broad spectrum, and, and really nowadays almost every sunscreen does that. Um, yeah, I usually recommend, if, especially if you're getting significant sun exposure, if you're going to the beach, you're going to play golf, an SPF of 30 I like. Uh, if you're going to be wet or sweaty, you want something that's water resistant. You have to apply your sunscreen 15 to 30 minutes before the sun exposure. And now there are a couple things that people I think are, are more important. Reapplying the sunscreen about every 90 minutes to two hours. Um, a lot of people don't do that, and it's, especially if you're wet or sweaty, it's going to wear out and it's, it's going to lose its SPF. Even if you're using that SPF of 200, after an hour and a half, two hours of, of wet or sweaty conditions, it's not going to maintain that SPF. Um, and you know, make sure that you don't use sunscreen as an excuse to increase your time spent in the sun. A lot of people feel they've used this sunscreen and now they can spend all day in the sun, and that's not true. Here's another you know, common problem with sunscreen is people don't use enough. It's recommended that you use about an ounce per application, and that's for a you know, full body if you're, if you're going to the beach. Uh, these are typical bottles of sunscreen, anywhere from four, five, six ounces of, of sunscreen in them. And if, if you think about it, if you alone went to the beach all day, you would use up one of these bottles just on you alone. And, and most people will use this bottle daily for, for years and, and still have it left over. So you really got to use enough sunscreen to, to get that SPF value out of it. A couple, a uh, little more technical information. Now here, there are two main ingredients in sunscreens.